So here we are at the Arizona EEC. Anytime you want to come visit, you simply give them a call. You can arrange a group experience or visit on your own. Welcome to the Palverde Energy Education Center. A lot of these are touch screens. Where nuclear plants are in the world, um, what percentage of generation is, is, is nuclear versus other technologies. So the United States with 100 units, a little less than 800 billion kilowatt hours, 19.2% of our total generation. The, the site here digitally from various angles. And it'll zoom in and tell you then a little bit about that part of the site. It's introduction for what we're walking on. There are 241 fuel assemblies in the reactor. Uh, there are 236 pins or tubes that have the fuel pellets in them that make up a, fu a fuel assembly. So this is the, I should say, example core that you can walk on. Each unit capable of about 1,420 megawatts. Enough, enough energy to serve about a million and a half people. Built to contain the nuclear material within under any and all conditions. It's called post-tensioning. Walls are pre-stressed and post-tensioned for, in, in about four feet of concrete, you get the equivalent strength of about 35 feet of concrete and steel. Our community partnerships, so donations to, to local charities through volunteerism, um, the $1.8 billion uh, of economic impact, $50 million a year in property taxes. Clean, reliable, and cost-effective uh, electricity. So not only is it a training exhibit in that it talks about um, the, the ongoing and continuous training that people get, it's also talking about, uh, you know, sort of the variety of jobs and what it takes to get one. What kind of uh, things surround us every day that might be radioactive, like crushed landscaping rock. Living near a power plant, it's actually higher for a coal plant than it is a nuclear plant. Because in the mine coal, there will be radioactive material in that coal that's, that's when it's ground up and sent into the boiler. Uh, that that radioactive uh, uh, material will be in the emission. Emergency preparedness and planning. This building is, is part of that emergency preparedness plan. There are four layers, there are four levels of, of emergency deck. different reactor designs, fuel enrichment, whatever it may be, radiation, all of that is available. That energy gets from Palo Verde or another power plant to your home. sit here for quite a time and go through all these different factories. Now this particular building that we're in has been uh, LEED certified. The ductwork actually delivers air under the floor and that comes up through the discs that we can see. And when we pull this handle here, sort of uh, reminiscent of flushing, um, that lights up the pathway of water from the 91st Avenue water treatment facility to the Palo Verde plant. Um, the water then is treated at our own water reclamation facility, which is labeled number one there, which then are the water source for our cooling systems and the cooling towers here are at five, seven, and nine for units one, two, and three. The water that we get has radioactive material in it, either natural or man-made that comes in through the waste system. It is not 
it is not becoming radioactive as a matter of going through the nuclear plant. It was already radioactive when we got the water. So as people in the valley communities, you know, flush their toilets, uh, take showers, wash dishes, and so on, they are providing the cooling water for Palo Verde. The cooling tower in some general plant, you think you're wasting a lot of water, when really you're not wasting anything. You're just using the water that really nobody else was using, except maybe the golf courses. And we're talking about gray water. Around 2,500 employees that work at the site.